Hello, everyone. I'm Feng Hu from Sci-Fi Lab. Today, I'm going to present Finger Track, a joint work done by Cornell University and the University of Wisconsin Medicine. Finger Track is the first minimal obtrusive wristband that is able to reconstruct a continuous 3D hand pose, as shown in the video. Blue hand in the top left is the ground truth, which means the target hand pose we want to reconstruct. Red hand in the top right is prediction made by our finger track system. In other words, the hand pose reconstructed by our system. To reconstruct hand pose is a focus in human computer interaction area as it's a cornerstone to a multitude of uh, interactive applications. For instance, we can use hand pose to control VR, AR, and to interact with robot. Hand pose is also essential in sign language translation as it uses different poses to express ideas. All of these applications require high-quality reconstructed hand pose, especially in mobile settings. However, existing systems are either camera-based, which needs to observe all the fingers, thus can easily suffer from occlusion, or based on glove or external sensors, which cannot move or bulk. All current solutions cannot reconstruct hand pose in mobile settings. So our research question is, how to design a minimal obtrusive wearable device that can continuously reconstruct hand pose without the need of seeing all the fingers? The answer is silhouette. Here, our intuition is that hand silhouette contains key information about hand pose. As shown in the left column, we observe hand contours from four different views. Can we infer what the hand pose is? Yes. It looks like this, pose one. Now we move to the next multi-view figures. The corresponding pose is pose two. It's similar for pose three. So silhouette matters. Based on this intuition, we developed finger track. It consists of two major parts. First, a wristband mounted with four thermal cameras, which captures hand silhouette from different view. The reason why we choose thermal camera is that Thermal images are easier to segment than RGB ones, despite their low resolution. But other types of camera also work, which I'll cover later. When we collect data, the motion provides us with ground truth. Second, a deep model which takes multi-view silhouette as input. It uses ResNet 34 as backbone and then connect to two fully connected layers. Lastly, it outputs hand pose parameters. Now we know how it works. Let me show you two demos. The first demo is when a hand is empty. The red skeleton is reconstructed hand pose by finger track. As shown in bottom left corner, red area is hand and green area is background. This is the video demo. There's another demo shows reconstruction results when hand is holding objects, like opening a book or holding a pen. Then how do we prove that finger track works in real world scenarios? We designed four test settings to evaluate finger track's real world performance. In the first three settings, hand is empty. When testing background is the same as that of training, it achieves 1.20 centimeters PAME. That is, joint position mean absolute error. The blue hand skeleton is the ground truth, and the red one is our prediction. We also test it under different backgrounds to simulate its real-world use case. Moreover, users may take off the wristband and then take it back on in real life. So we design remounting safe. Lastly, we test the system when hand is holding objects. Apart from user study results, there are several interesting finger track design factors worth analyzing. One of them would be camera setting. Finger track's prototype has four cameras, which may seem a lot. So the question is, can less number of cameras achieve similar performance? In other words, do we really need four cameras? We change the quantity and the positions of cameras we use in the evaluation. We label the four cameras used in the study from C0 to C3. Then we trained different models with different combination of camera settings and calculated the relative construction error in each set of camera settings. 
We use the evaluation results from all four cameras at 100% and compare other reconstruct errors to the original setting. C1 is the most informative camera among the four cameras. The results indicated that with minimal number of cameras, like one or two, the system can still reconstruct hand pose in the cost of sacrificing some performance. And you use three cameras can achieve very similar performance as using four. Another interesting design factor is camera type. Thermal cameras preserve hand silhouette, but its resolution is low. We proved that with RGB camera whose resolution is higher, we can potentially have better reconstruction results. Our pre preliminary results show that using RGB cameras can achieve an average accuracy of 92.62% in distinguishing 12 challenging micro finger poses, much higher than thermal one, which is under 50%. Finally, finger tracking powers lots of exciting applications. For example, it can be used for recognizing fine grained data activities, such as tabletop human object interaction. An example is shown here. To summarize, finger track is the first wearable system that can continuously track 3D hand pose in mobile settings. We demonstrated the feasibility of reconstructing the entire hand pose by only observing a few hand silhouettes from the wrist. Thanks for watching.